You there. Hello. Hello. Come here. Well met, stranger. How can I help you? I am the magnifique Clifford, the Henri, biographer, painter, circus artist, and a magician in my free time. I don't know where you are, such lies. I am an upstanding artist. Come here. Ah, then why didn't you bloody say so before? Nice to work with you. I, I should say, I don't do marriage certificates. Not since the incident. Hello. Don't ask. Come here. I said don't ask? Hello. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Oh yeah, I can forge you those signatures. All I need is some handwriting references. Letters work best, don't care how you get them. The least I know, the better. First one will be about a hundred tickets. The next ones will cost you more. The more I write, the more you pay. So, bring me those references and I'll get to work, all right, Poppet? Hello, come here. I said don't ask? You there, hello. And I'll be... Don't let them befuddle you, follower. Yeah!
too fucking early. Took a step back and I shot them. Right there. You didn't even see it coming. Huh? Well, well. The Wayfarer. Isn't that something? Venturing into my territory is generally considered a bad idea. But I hear you're more competent than most. This city runs on information. In your new blood. Of some friends in the Vagabonds and elsewhere. Got a job for you. Something I need doing. And I need it done well. For the sake of my conscience. Flat fee of two and a half thousand tickets. Don't change the subject. Perhaps I'll do it once the job's done. Indeed. It's of a sentimental and personal nature. I won't go into detail. I hear talk of a man at St. Paul's Sanctuary. Back off, mate. John Marsh. I used to know a man by that name. I owe him a life debt. For a long time I thought him dead. If that isn't the case, I still owe him for that debt. If it's him, do whatever he asks, no matter what. When you're paid off my debt, you'll be paid in cash. Question him. He's one of the few people who know my real name. The fact he knows it ain't Miller will be proof enough. What are you playing at? Save my life. A great risk to his own. I'm not a light man in London. I'll doubt the do-gooders at St. Paul's will let me back in without an army at my back. He won't. Then go to St. Paul's and don't waste any time. Chin up, lads. We'll get the roundels next time. Back off, mate. Last warning. Speak. I heard. It was a good man. A morn is passing. And the debt well won. I have no choice but to believe you. Here's your payment, Wayfarer. Let's not speak about this again. Our business is concluded. In fact, it never happened. Yes. What's it for? Why would you want to go in there? To tear up the place, knowing you? <laughs> All right, I'll sign. Miller. Sorry, I ain't cursive. That's all, is it? Yep. Chin up, lads. Had an absolute skinful last night. That bog system gin is tastier than you imagine. But that taste is a trap. My tonsils have second degree chemical burns. State your business in Camden. Only to a few. As long as you're not here to make trouble, the pistols welcome you. I didn't think you were. A group of hooligans recently made it through the border. Hence the added security. You don't strike me as a hooligan, though. Well, 
Well, we're having a conversation to start. You're kind to offer. I'd speak to Alice before you do anything drastic, though. I'm a member, so I may be biased. But to me, there's no equality. Radical individual. Those are the values of the... Oh, we go away. Finally kick the fact and just... But it's, it's a damn... Well... Anything you need? Pistols get first. I'd avoid the air. No worries. Welcome to Camden. I can't believe we got another meeting tonight. It's interminable with this shit. Business. I respect that. So, Pistol's membership. Are you interested? Splendid. Each potential member is required to obtain sponsorship from three members of the council. To start, I'd like you to speak to Palmira Romero and Captain Reasonable. They've both been having issues. Maybe you can help them? Palmira works in hydroponics. The captain should be around Camden Town Station. It's best to let them explain. It's as much for you as it is for us. Think of this as a trial run. You don't need to agree with all of us, ideologically, on everything. Blimey, that would be impossible. However, there are some fundamentals we do need to agree on. We need to see that you're committed to our broader goal. Forging a new, just and equal society for all. We need to be sure you're not just here to check something off a list, or for a discount on goods. Then I'm sure we'll speak again soon. since John agreed to sponsor anyone. How'd you manage it? What a relief. I've always maintained that he was innocent in the whole ordeal. I take it that means he's staying in Camden then? I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Well, congratulations are in order. It is my honor to formally welcome you to the Pistols. Here are the keys to your flat. You should find it fully furnished. If you need anything at all, it can be found at the Camden Market. Pistols provide housing to all members. Yours is a nice one. I lived there myself for a period. It's up to you to find ways to make yourself useful in Camden. Don't be a stranger.
Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. Oi, g'day there, mate. Lovely day for a walkabout, eh? I see strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Brickton. I am Roach. You may think of me as a leader, but I merely embody the Kenyan's desire. Before we begin, I must ask, why is a raven like a writing desk? Ah, an intelligent answer. Now how may I help you? Why are you wearing clothes? Because someone told you to? Because someone forced you to? I am merely following my instincts. The one thing the canyon gave me in her infinite wisdom. Like you, I come from the canyon. And I shall return to it once my days are over. 
but I know that's not what you want to know. The truth is, I don't remember who I was before I became Roach. I wanted a clean start, so I erased my memory through a mix of hallucinogenics and minor head wounds. And I'd do it again, if I remembered the recipe. The Tommies think they're here to civilize us, simply because we don't follow their beliefs and codes. But tell me, what worth is there in an ideology? that has destroyed the world ten times over and left it to rot. I would take dying from preventable diseases a thousand times over destroying the world with my ignorance. The outsider supposes their toes is a roses, but the outsider supposes erroneously. That is the name so kindly gifted to us by the Tommies, alongside the mother of all headaches. That reminds me of an important question. What came first? The chicken or the egg? You're perfect. I have a job for you. Listen well. The Tommies have been attempting to contact an isolated tribe in nearby Croydon. We hoped they'd abandon the idea once they realized the path was blocked by two large gaps. But no. Instead, they were emboldened, and their mighty Lieutenant Doyle sent an expeditionary force. Two soldiers, one second lieutenant, and a few Bricktonians, who were there to build bridges, literally and metaphysically. Except those plans failed when the half-built bridges collapsed, plunging all but two of my tribe's people into the river of lava. You can see where this is going, right? A good story shouldn't be rush, strange adventurer. Lieutenant Doyle blames Brickton for the incident and has vowed to raise our taxes to make up for this incident. Taxes we never agreed to pay. We seek nothing but peace. And so we beseech you, go to Lieutenant Doyle and convince him to choose peace. If you can change Lieutenant Doyle's mind, we'll pay you a fraction of the additional taxes. But if he can't do it, well, then I suppose those tickets will go straight to Doyle's despicable palms. Life in Brickton is perfection, particularly when we are left unbothered, unmucked, and untouched by the outside world. With their loud devices and their even louder claptraps, Unable to enjoy even a pure moment of silence. And don't even get me started on their so-called radio programs. Always going on and on and on and on and on. I'm sorry. What was the question again? Yes? Like you, I come from the canyon. And I shall return to it once my days are over. But I know that's not what you want to know. The truth is, I don't remember who I was before I became Roach. I wanted a clean start. So I erased my memory through a mix of hallucinogenics and minor head wounds. And I'd do it again, if I remembered the recipe. My tribe's dealings with the Tommies are far more important at the moment. The Tommies think they're here to civilize, but tell me, I would take dying. Lieutenant, we seek none. May the canyon. I see strange storm clouds in your. have informed me the tax raises off. The canyon was right. You were, are, and shall be our salvation. Here, 300 tickets. A part of what we would have paid to Doyle. A part that is now rightfully yours.
I know. Of both the lie and the runaways. I've known the lie since the start. Apologies for the subterfuge, but I had to keep it a secret. Those people have already gone through so much pain and loss, I had to let them escape. I hope you'll forgive me. The canyon already has. I can sign that for you, yes. You've helped us, so we can indeed help you. May you forever walk in the canyon's path. Earth be with you. Yeah, but I can see that old fire in his eyes again. I can't. Thank you, all of you. I know I haven't been myself for, well, for a long time. <coughs> and I'm still not. Not yet, anyway. But this... This setting aside of differences to help family. That's what being a Roundel has always been about. From here on out, I'll be the leader you deserve. Not just the old Pete, but a new Pete. One ready to live up to those ideals. It's Miller's men! They're here! Quickly! Where's Miller now? The houses have fallen. They're inside Oberon, plus glam and mab. We fight. If your clothes don't say something, you might as well not exist. Hello? What? What are you... You saved my life. Of course I'll sign it. Pete Davies. Nice one. Anything else I can do for you? See ya, mate. When the sun's in your eyes, even you look proper dressed. I should really start writing my resignation Going down. 